Hi everybody, it's Trish. I'm out here today revisiting a topic on a viewer's request. And don't forget, I have a ton of videos on this page. So if there's a question that you have, search through those videos and see if you can find it. If not, you're more than welcome to contact me. I have my info in the description below. But here's the topic. The student has asked me to explain to them or give them some ideas on some drills on how to feel the centripetal force of the golf swing. And my answer to that question is this. We can never rely on feel. Some days it's really hot. So you get a little puffy, you get a little fatigued. Some days it's cold, you're a little more anxious or some days you're sore, some days you're not, some days you're more flexible, some days you're not. So we can never ever rely on how the golf swing feels. We can only rely on the mental pictures and mental images that we create in the golf swing. However, that being said, if we have a good mental picture and a good mental image, when we execute a golf shot, regardless of if we're tired or not tired or whatever, the feel will be similar, okay? It's never ever gonna feel the same, but it's gonna be similar. So I give you this. Grab your tennis ball on a string, okay? And if you don't have a tennis ball on a string, contact me, I can get you one, I can send it to you, or I can show you how I made it, no problem. But I'm gonna swing this back and forth, okay? Now, if you were to do this, if you don't have a tennis ball and a string, use keys with a shoelace or something like that. You know, Ernest Jones used to use a pocket knife on the end of a handkerchief. And it, you will feel the pull of the tennis ball as it swings. But remember, the whole thing swings the whole string and ball included swing, okay? And we swing an object back and forth from a fixed point. Wonder if that sounds a little familiar to you. All right, now take that and swing it in a loop, okay? Swing it in a complete circle, see that? All right, the faster you swing, the more pull, you're going to notice when the tennis ball swings around your finger. How do we accomplish that in the golf swing? How do we create that in the golf swing? Use your tennis ball on a string. Start with one hand. Go backward and forward continually. Then switch hands without stopping. Okay, switch hands. Then both hands. And you will start to notice as you do this that you will feel the tennis ball kind of pull you. Do that a lot, okay? You're going to notice the pull of that tennis ball. Then take your golf club, take your tennis ball, Put it back there. We've done this before. Go back and forth a few times and then drop it and swing. And you're going to notice, sorry about that, you're going to notice that the club is going to feel much heavier. Okay? So, again, you're going to take it. Do it a few times until you get a rhythm, then drop it and swing. And you're gonna feel that pull. You're gonna notice that pull. You're gonna recognize it for what it is. All right, so until next time, don't forget, like and subscribe to this channel for more great tips and tricks to help you improve your golf game. And until next week, please, be safe, stay healthy, and keep it in the short grass.